Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today I'm bringing you the postseason awards with some friends of mine. Now, this started out being one episode, but I had so many good conversations that we're going to have three parts to this. I'm going to do two guests each section. So you'll get two in this first one, two in the second one, two in the third, and I'll eventually put mine out, my solo answers out at some point. So uh, uh, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and enjoy the show. This is part one of Postseason Awards, Who You Got, with Coach Evans and Friends. Well, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so I, leading the show off is, is a guy that kind of got me into the YouTube game, that, that kind of pushed me to do it because of su success he was having so far. And um, since I've got into it, and he's technically the mentor has become the mentee now. That's the my role has been flipped, and so I reach out to him for ideas and whatnot. Welcome in my crown court brother, and everybody don't know what that is. He knows what it is because of where we're from. But um, Boss Lombardi, welcome to the channel, man. Appreciate you. But it hasn't flipped though, right? Because I can still be like, well, if the why motion to the other side, and he's and 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 he out there, and he not covered, is he still the why? I can still hit you up and ask you that. So it ain't all the way. It ain't all the way flipped. So appreciate you. Thanks for having. No problem. So um. If you don't know, Botch is a cowboy YouTuber, and he's my guy. Played for me when he was in high school. And we're gonna talk about these um, whole season awards. The 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 finalists came out, and you know I had to get you on because of obviously the last one. We'll talk about that when we get to it. Yeah, but we're just gonna go through it, and you tell me who you pick, and kind of tell me a little bit of why you picking that person, and then we'll make our way to the MVP, which we'll we'll probably have a little back and forth when we get there. That yes, worked. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let me let me just let me just tell you one thing about a YouTube by the YouTube pro tip real fast. I have my window on this screen, but I'm looking outside now. But if I put the window on this screen, it looks like I'm looking at the list. If I do it like this, you see what I'm saying? So go ahead. Pro tip. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, and I got my camera right above it. So I'm gonna pop my eyes up. Yeah. yeah. Well, when we finish, remind me to tell you what I got coming. So to work on my eyes, I'll let you know. You uh, comeback player of the year. Joe mm -hmm. Blacko, Demar Hamlin. Uh, Baker Mayfield, Matthew Stafford, Tua Tonga Valor. Who you got and why? I tell you what, man. Uh, I've seen a lot of people talk about this, and and this might be the most thought provoking category that's on the list because when like our whole life comeback player, Ben, you was probably trash one year, you was out one year, and you came back and you did well. Mm -hmm. If that's the category that we're going by, it got to be Baker. Mm -hmm. It has to be Baker. You know what I'm saying? Baker came from all the way to garbage <laughs> uh, competing in playoffs right right and then there's the other side it's like bro but demar died you know yeah. what i'm saying and demar died but he plays kickoff sometimes you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i just think it's a little different so you know this may not sound as compassionate as it can be hey look shots hey look i'm glad he's alive i wouldn't be playing football if i was him whatever whatever but for me i would pick baker mayfield because of how how you know flat garbage i i thought he was going to be this whole time like when when uh tom brady retired and and uh we was like all right it's going to be driscoll and uh whoever <laughs> we was like boy tampa bay for to be terrible and Derek Carr and the saints finna come take this thing over but they did not they, they did right. not and uh to to be fair baker mayfield was baker for a long stretch of this, mm -hmm. of this season boy but he came back <laughs> he, he, he came, that's a point of the award this ain't mvp his comeback right. and exactly. uh, I, I think his his comeback was a little better than uh than joe's joe's got a good comeback story too but he threw the ball to the other team and got carried a little bit more than baker did so i'm going back agree 100 and um you know kind of along the lines of demar and i mm -hmm. want to leave it out but sure. tour because imagine how scary that was to see Tua trying to walk noodle leg. Sure. And, and, and then, you know, just, just seeing that. And then on top of what happened to DeMar, it, those two situations were scary. But I think, I think, sure. I just think DeMar got a slight advantage because of what he went through. Like, like you said, he died for a, for a hot second. Sure. Sure. Tua, Tua didn't die. Tua, Tua just hit the ground violently and he, it was looking scary for him. Mm -hmm. He eventually got up, but he ain't died. DeMar died. You know what right. I'm saying? But just however you categorize comeback, then sure, I'm rolling with Baker Mayfield. All right. Second one is assistant coach of the year. Ben Johnson, Mike McDonald, Todd Munkin, Jim Schwartz, and Bobby Sloat. Man, let me tell you something, man. Ravens fans gonna 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 sing songs about Mike McDonald one day, dog. 
Ravens fans gonna gonna cry tears about Mike McDonald. Let me let me just let me just tell you one thing. I said this on my um weekly show, um Bleach Report on uh Wednesdays, right, coach? I was like, there's one coach that looked all of the Sean McVay kids in the eye, all the Mike McDonald, uh um Mike McDaniel, Shanahan, he looked all them guys in the face. This big scary offense, right? That 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 Jay Gruden coaching tree. They don't they don't like to claim it as 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 Gruden's. They just call it Shanahan's. But that Shanahan tree, uh huh. Rams, uh, Texans, all the kids, 49ers, Lions, 49ers, all the kids. <laughs> Mike McDonald's Dolphins, said, Dolphins. Yes, Mike McDonald said, "I right, not only will we smoke them." But we'll smoke them in a in a violent fashion, and I'm gonna have my linebacker come on come up to the podium and say that they playing patty cake basketball, <laughs> and y'all getting cute. I love violence like that, man. I love violence. Um, I love what Ben did. I love what Bobby did. Um, what's my man's in Buffalo that was with uh Joe Burrow and at LSU? Um, uh, when he took over for Ken Brady, Dorsey, Joe, um, uh, Brady, Joe Brady. Mm-hmm. Um, he did a fantastic job with his, you know, with his modern offense and all that. And and every team's looking for the new modern offense, but ain't nothing scarier than the defense dude that shut down all the modern offense. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So so Mike McDaniel gonna get a job somewhere. Ravens gonna be upset, and whoever get them, they won't have to worry about none of the uh, Shanahan uh, McVay kids no more. So exactly, I agree 100. Now keep in mind before we go on, Jim Schwartz ran that same gauntlet too. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't I, I know they won a couple of them. I don't know if they won them all, but he pretty much won't run that most of that same gun. Not all of them, but mm-hmm. most of it. But coach of the year, head coach of the year. You got kneecaps, Harbaugh, uh, D'Amico, Shanahan, and Stefanski. Why the hell Shanahan up there? What do you what, what do you do? Like, like, like why he and same reason as quarterback on this list, too. When I'm thinking when I'm thinking coach of the year, kind of like comeback guy, right? I'm thinking mm-hmm. who overcame the odds and who did the most with less. You right. know what I'm saying? So I'm going, I'm going Miko. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh Lions got a loaded roster. Shots out to John and getting his guys to the bowl and all that, but y'all got a loaded right. And John, John been here before. John get down. That's yep. cool. Shanahan, whatever. Stefanski, he should get some some credit for having five different quarterbacks play mm-hmm. this year. <laughs> um, and, and no chill. No chub and somehow winning with him anyway, man. But um, but boy, man, it's just something about having a rookie quarterback and you know, just thinking back to uh, you know, Cowboys, right? So when Dak was a rookie year, he went on this run. Mm-hmm. He still had like Hall of Famers around him. He had legends and the best O line in the league and all this. And I'm like, man, you look at what you know, CJ and Miko got, man. They're out there making, making, making Nico Collins go crazy. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? They make, you know, and I'm up here like, damn, boy, I wish I had a run game. I wish I had a run. <laughs> and, they, and they rolling Devin Singletary out there getting it done, playing, playing defense, getting it done. Mm-hmm. Um, um, you know, you know, Petrie, um, you know, um, Christian Harris, like if you a draft guy, you know these guys. Yep, but I do. You think, but you ain't think these guys finna come out here and go crazy like that. And they, they did. like they, 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 he he rejuvenated uh Grenard. Sure, sure, sure. Um, Florida, yeah, Jonathan Grenard. And and, and and you just you just watch what um Coach Ryan's did with less mm-hmm. versus these dudes on the list. I'm taking I'm I'm taking D'Amico Ryan's man. Gotcha. Easily. Defensive rookie of the year. You all got a Texan here. Will Anderson Jr., Jalen Carter. Joy Porter Jr., Kobe Turner, and Devin Witherspoon. Let me tell you something funny about this list. Jalen Carter had an incredible start. Mm -hmm. Will Anderson had an incredible finish. Right. If you watching the film, though, Kobe Turner went crazy this year. He did. (laughs) From start to finish. But I will say this. Kobe Turner had probably had the most one-on-ones because of a guy beside him. Yeah. But that don't matter though. <laughs> Did you get busy? <laughs> yeah, he got busy. Did what you he had nine busy? sacks, eight or nine sacks, something eight, like that? Eight and a half, nine. Kobe Turner had one of them um um Justin Matabike years, right? Like we just look and it's like week 17. We're like, what happened? When does that happen? You know what I'm saying? But if you watch the film, Kobe went a little crazy. I think half of half of half of these awards, it 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 comes down to um playoffs it comes down to big games it comes down to fanfare and you know notoriety or whatever so kobe on his body of work probably should get it but he won't Mm -hmm. will will anderson probably had the most famous run 
out of everybody because it was the end and he was paired up with the offensive first first pick and CJ Stroud or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it'll probably go to Will Anderson. Uh, like I said, Jalen uh, Jalen Carter kind of hit this wall towards the end. You know what I'm saying? But um, but this is what I think though, right? So 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 just as as football do, I'll say Kobe Turner, but it probably go to Will Anderson now. Gotcha. You get Kobe's name down. All right. Was offensive rookie of the year. Oh, uh, CJ, baby. Uh, go, ahead. <laughs> go ahead, pass. Go, go ahead, swipe to the net. CJ Strauss. Okay. And look, no, I, okay. So, no so, so, no so just so just just for some, you know, context, or whatever, right? Because we are we are we are doing a show here. Right. Um, I hate how they did Bijan there, and Arthur got his goofy self, his yes. goofy self fire for that. Um give your he, best. He player. almost had a misappropriation of funds. The funds being being Bijan. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you, you know, it's sad when you when Bijan has one carry, but Cordero Patterson got five. You know what I'm saying? You know, you on the goal line and 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 John New Smith is your guy and Kyle Pitts just blocking and Kyle Pitts ain't, ain't the black guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's crazy how they did that. Whatever. Um, So it, it can't be Bijan. Puka broke the record. But that I mean, Stafford went went, you know, Stafford had a had a really good back half of the situation too so i could say puka went crazy because matt stafford went crazy and they was double covering cooper so they had to throw it to somebody mm-hmm. cj stroud i say it again coach devin singletary nico collins <laughs> and all his dudes kept getting hurt like tank yep. Dale was a tank stud Dale. he got hurt uh noah brown noah who brown. i can't stand but he got hurt he mm-hmm. went out who, who else catch passes chat everybody watching right now in the comments besides nico collins Dalton show who caught passes over that no um, wait a minute show, shows played for y'all last year right Dalton shows played for us last year yes Did and noah too noah brown played for us last year yes sir of course that's crazy that's madness that's they, madness they took, they took you your rejects and had a successful season with them. To be fair, we had successful seasons with them also. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that like that. He, he already gets enough scrutiny. But yeah, CJ Stroud had a fantastic year with those characters. So uh he's done more with less. I'm going CJ. Gotcha. Uh that's not a bad one. Now, defensive player of the year. Mm-hmm. I kind of know who you're gonna pick, but at least I think I know. Go ahead. I'm picking Miles Garrett. Oh, I did not know. <laughs> I'm, picking my, I'm not picking Mike. Man, I'm picking Michael Parsons. I'm not picking Duran. I didn't think you was gonna pick Mike. Well, um, I thought you were gonna pick uh, Duran. Well, I definitely picked Duran. Uh, <laughs> you know, just as a as a as a Cowboy fan, I watch the film every single week. Um, and I think this comes down to getting it done despite what happens to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they triple team everybody on this list. You know what I'm saying? Well, all the pass rushes or whatever, but who overcomes it, you know? Miles. So, <clears throat> Miles overcomes it. Miles will run through those three people, you know? Um, Micah is great in his own way, but he'll let three people take him out of a game, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, that could also be Dan Quinn putting a 240-pound linebacker in a, in a damn four-point stance, and I, I, that could be Dan, but... And putting a 180-pound safety at Mike. I ain't saying nothing else. I, Coach, I don't want to say nothing else about it. I don't want to say nothing else about it. I feel you. I feel you. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, it, but it's not about what sh- could have, should have been. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's could have, should have been, it'll be Pat Mahomes every year. It'll be whoever every year. It's what actually happened. Mm-hmm. Michael didn't do it for me. TJ White got hurt at the end. Unfortunately, couldn't couldn't just keep up with still, him. Still led the league, though. Still led the league, though, which is crazy. <laughs> which, <laughs> which is crazy, which is, which is madness. Uh, but they actually got a um, um, graphic out. Like, TJ White is actually the least double teamed out of all of them. I, you know what I agree. I so, agree because he plays so wide, it's tough to send two people and he played down there at the hash. It's hard to do. Exactly. <laughs> um, so I'm just I'm just going with Miles based on him being being him being able to get it done versus all the you know, all the help that they send his way. And Deron Bland gets caught on all the time. I mean, besides breaking the record for pick sixes, he broke them on quarterbacks that throw the ball to the other team a bunch. So uh yeah. Miles Garrett. Gotcha. So he he beat up on a little guy, so to speak. And look, everybody that's ever broken a record beat up on little guys. That's okay. <laughs> look, that is perfectly fine. I'm not gonna be up here. They ain't gonna change his name in that record book. I'm not gonna hate on that, but it's just that when I when I when I when I, I would rather I would rather give it to Bland if he shuts somebody down as opposed mm-hmm. to I got the pick six record. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Shut somebody sense. down. Makes sense. Offensive player of the year: Cheetah, Lamar, CD, Christian McCaffrey, Dak. 
I'm going CD Lamb in this case. Okay, I'm CD going had an amazing year. CD CD went went crazy. He went crazy. Um, I think he I I I think Hill got more yards, but Lamb got more uh more touchdowns than him. I believe yeah. so. I, I know at the end of the year, CD was going nuts because I had him and Dak in a fantasy so, thing in my playoff run. Oh, you went two crazy. guys you went crazy until the end. Went, went crazy. <laughs> luckily, luckily the finals was two weeks. So the okay. week seventeen game, I okay. was kind of even with the person I was playing. Yeah. And then you know, y'all was trying to get him that MVP week eighteen, and I was loving it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we was trying to feed him, <laughs> but uh, CD Lamb, man, just a just a dude that that and 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 look, just like just like just like Tyreek, but uh, lines up all over the field, man, just 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 catch radius, jumping over people in the end zone, just uh, you know what really helped CD was people were saying, oh, he's all slide, he's all slot. And then he'll line up in the flank and give you some work. He'll line up in the split and give you some work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so just this this run that he went on. And 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 look, man, don't forget, man, the Cowboys offense was trash for like six weeks because they were just trying to figure out all that change or whatever. But mm-hmm. once they actually figured it all out, um, man, they didn't they didn't look back, man. I would give it to Dak. But I think like giving it to a quarterback is, is kind of cheating because quarterbacks get the other award. You know what I'm exactly. saying? So when I think offensive play, I think wide receiver, I think running back. Uh Christian McCaffrey, I think he's responsible for for carrying a lot of Purdy's, you know, Purdy's nonsense or whatever. But I ain't I ain't gotta come up here and hate on the award show. You know what I'm saying? And um it's it's out of lamb and Tyreek. It's out of lamb and Tyreek. And honestly, if Tyreek didn't get hurt those last Two weeks or whatever, mm-hmm. like like two weeks. He probably would have would have passed Lamb clearly, and I just I just I just give it to Tyreek. But I'm gonna go Lamb slightly though. Gotcha. And last but not least, uh, MVP Josh Allen, uh, Lamar Jackson, CMC, Dak, and Brock Purdy. So the last three dudes don't even don't even count in this conversation, man. I, I, I don't, really? The last I, I'm not. Rick, not, not the, don't 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 factor in playoff now. Get the, get your playoff at you know out your system. Just think straight regular season. Well, I think I think a lot of this award is when you do it, mm-hmm. the type of dudes you you do it against, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And 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 you know, when it matters and all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I seen Lamar Jackson beat all the good teams. Right. Like you line the good and, and like and and look, the Ravens Let's just keep it a buck here. They could be undefeated. <laughs> the Ra- the Ra- the Ravens lost games and it was all they fault. Like nobody showed up and was better than them. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this takes it back to um Tony Romo's last playoff run. You know, when Tony, you know, they 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 they, they quit making Tony throw the ball 40 times a game, you know? Mm-hmm. They say, Tony, throw, throw these smooth 20 something, and then we'll, we'll, and this would be the, the winning formula or whatever, right. right? The blueprint. This is the blueprint. So people can look at Lamar and be like, well, Lamar doesn't have these passing numbers. Well, he don't have to. Right. <laughs> he don't have to because y'all got a formula that works. You know what I mean? Even if your offense come out weird for like a half, y'all got a formula that buys you time and figures it out. Mm-hmm. And you have an explosive second half or whatever. However, y'all do it. That's just how you get down. Um, and, and when you play against these good teams, man, you don't just play against them, but you smoke the hell out of them. You know what I'm saying? So I can look at Dak and be like, man, you threw you you threw 400 yards versus this bad team. I'll take Lamar Jackson throwing for 255 versus a good team. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because it's harder to come by. So since Lamar Jackson won those games, I don't care. Dak Dak could out can out stat everybody up here. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm keeping it a buck with you. But if you don't beat the Dolphins, if you get blowed out by the Bills, you get blowed out by the 49ers, and then you look at Lamar and them team, he's smoking, he's smoking the hell out there. I'm taking Lamar Jackson, man. I'm gotcha. taking Lamar Jackson. He's a piece. All right. So Appreciate you for uh, finding the time to, 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 to fall in for me today. So you're leading the show off. You're the first guest on this little okay. uh, mashup that I got. And I appreciate you taking the time to, to, to do this for me. I thank you for all the help you helped me with along this journey. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to keep pushing and we're going to um, do this thing. And, you know, you know how we do it. Black actors. <laughs> You 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 already know, man. Maybe maybe in March we'll we'll just talk draft or something. Maybe in April or something when you ain't doing nothing else. Ho- hopefully, I, I won't reach out to you for draft stuff to after February or in February. Hopefully, because, like and say, it won't be next week. Like I say March, April. You know what I'm saying? You know, just, you know, when you ain't got nothing to do, you know. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, my guy. Appreciate yes, it. Mm-hmm. 
All right, next up, we got my Ravens roundup brother, Jose from Lunch Break High Take. How you doing today, man? I'm doing well. How you doing, coach? I'm chilling, chilling. Uh, excited to see what happens Sunday and, and get this content out and see how the feedback is, man. Uh, it seems like it's taking forever for Sunday to get here. It's, <laughs> it's been one of the longest weeks ever, but today yes. is Thursday, and we got what? Sleep tonight, sleep Friday, three more sleeps, and then we, yeah, then we yeah. back at it. Yeah, somebody not sleep on Saturday. Right. Most probably not. Most probably <laughs> right. not. But um, yeah. I'm going to be fired up and be ready. And hopefully, you know, them guys ready. I hope. I think they are. But let, yeah. let's hope nothing distracts them and they, they come out hitting on all cylinders early in the game. No doubt. So what I brought you here for was to get your opinion on the postseason awards. The finalists were um, brought out or mentioned or released today. And so I got, you know, all the awards lined up. And I just want you to tell me who would you pick for each award? And give me a little synopsis of why would you pick that person. So the okay. first one up is comeback player of the year. You can see Joe Flacco, DeMar Hamlin, Baker Mayfield, Matthew Stafford, and Tua Tonga for lower. Who are you going with and why? Okay. So this is this is interesting, right? Because comeback player, you know, it, it, it applies to, to players that were injured the year before, right? Mm-hmm. Um, did Matt Stafford miss the whole year? I thought he played some of, of last year. He played year. some. He didn't finish it, but he played some. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I I think I think the politics are going to say Demar Hamlin because of mm-hmm. what happened on the field last year. That's why I think it's going to win it. Uh, Joe Flacco did well coming in at the end there, but just from the whole season, it comes down to me between Baker and Tua. I would say Tua regular season. I would say Tua because he had a, a really good season. Baker is a close second though. He he had uh, a, a a really good uh, bounce back from you know what's been going on within the last couple of years. But I will go with Tua. Right, and Baker put up. Uh, I mean, led a team to what second round of the playoffs. Yes, oh. but they but but postseason doesn't count. Yeah, I know. For, yeah, <laughs> but, if, but they, they, they shouldn't even been there, especially if you let DDSQ tell you he he didn't want no pass to them win. He he was expecting to be in the quarterback sweepstakes, and they not anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Unless they make some trades or whatnot, but they bigger than kind of worn his way into maybe a job for next year. Hey, <laughs> and some bonuses. Maybe some more progressive commercials come with it too. <laughs> <laughs> he can stay in the game still. <laughs> next up is assistant coach of the year, Ben Johnson from the Lions, uh, the two Ravens, and Mike McDonald and Todd Munkin, uh, Jim Schwartz, the defensive coordinator for the Browns, and Bobby Slowick, who's the OC for the Texans. Uh, this is easy for me. Maybe, you know, my, my, my purple shades are on, but Mike McDonald, I mean, he's coaching the best defense in football, a dominant defense. Um, and you know, look, we're like, we're, we're in it for a Super Bowl. you know, um, Jim Schwartz did an excellent job with, with the Browns as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, we were kind of going back and forth with them throughout the year, but, um, no, I think, I think it's Mike McDonald. That's, that's the, one that's probably going to be a head coach. Um, I mean, Ben Johnson, you know, he's getting offers too, but mm-hmm. uh, I think Mike McDonald's only two spots list. left as of, as of recording this. It's only two spots left. Uh, Harbaugh, yeah. Harbaugh has been named the coach of the Chargers, and Raheem Morris has been named the coach of the uh, Falcons. So it's only two left. And Oh, hey, I'm salute hoping, to Raheem. I'm, hey, I'm happy for him. I'm hoping the mother two spots get filled too, and we can run it back in purple. Yeah, let's go <laughs> Belichick. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, McDonald for me. Yeah, McDonald. All right. Next up is um the actual head coach of the year, Dan Campbell, Argy Harps, D'Amico Ryan's, uh Shanahan and Stefanski. Again, put my purple shades on. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna go with John Harbaugh. I you got you know, coach. I this very, is big for you to say this. I am very critical of John Harbaugh. Okay. Um there's still parts of me that feel like you know his time should, you know. To, to his time with the Ravens should be coming to an end, right? Not because I think he's a bad coach, though. And mm-hmm. I think he did a good job um, managing the team and not getting in the way. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, being a good coach doesn't always mean you have to put your 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 thumbprint on on the team that you have to be control in control of everything, mm-hmm. knowing when to fall back, knowing when to let your players play um, and be themselves. That's a that's a big plus. That's I mean, John Madden used to talk about that. They, you know, the, his Super Bowl teams. He said, "I treated them like adults. They, I didn't, I didn't care what they did as long as they showed up to practice and showed up to games, mm-hmm. right? And handle their business, 
yeah, and he he had some he had some characters on that right. team. Now uh, I, heard, I heard a story recently that kind of put a little chink in the armor for me as far as how I felt about Harps. And mm-hmm. I, I want to say Steve Smith told it like Harps still be like reaching out to some practice squad players that was on the team when he was there just mm-hmm. to check on them and see how they was doing, like being gen- on some genuine type stuff. And that that kind of softened me up a little bit on Harps because if he if he's that kind of guy. You know, I can kind of get past some of the other little silly stuff. Like, like I, I would have said last game was a perfect game, other than him wasting that time out on the challenge. But he, so, like you said, he's done a good job of just letting his coaches coach, yeah. manage the manage the personalities, and 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 be the the G- GM of the team. Yeah, I mean, so I've always known that about Harbs. I mean, my friend D Mac uh, Denarian, you you've done a. Uh, mm-hmm. A video with him. I mean, he's talked about Harbaugh. He, he played for Harbaugh in Philly, special, okay. special teams, and and um, Harbaugh brought him over uh, on the practice squad for the Ravens. You know, um, just said hey, just because he could, he he remembered D Mac, and he's like, hey, you know, you, you looking for for a place and land? Come over here, right? Harbaugh takes care of his people. I respect that. Yeah, right? Me too. But loyalty, some, loyalty. I I I respect that. I'm always gonna respect him for that. But sometimes he does it to a fault. G I agree. <laughs> right. If he did, if you didn't hear me say Giro. <laughs> right, let's go defensive player of the year. Uh Will Anderson from the Texans, Jalen Carter from the Eagles, Joey Porter Jr. from the Steelers, Kobe Turner, the Rams, and Devon or Devin Witherspoon from the Seattle Seahawks. I, I'm going Will Anderson. Um man, all these guys. Had, had great cool. seasons. Yes. And I, the one I didn't think was going to have a great season had one. That's Porter. Yes. Yeah. And he got drafted in the second round, you know. First pick in the second round. Yep. Yeah. He came out with that fire. I mean, you know, he, he played like like he, like he had a chip on his shoulder. He did. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll go with Anderson, though. Okay. Uh, offensive rookie of the year. Got Jameer Gibbs, Sam LaPorta, Puka Nakua, B. John Robinson, C.J. Stroud. I mean that's nice, you know. The other guys got mentioned, but it's it's a it's a two man race. That's Puka Nakua, who broke a, a, a rookie record, mm-hmm. right? And C.J. Stroud, right? Who I mean, he he could have been running for first team All Pro, right? Right. Um, I think again politics of it because he's a quarterback. They'll probably give it to C.J. Stroud, but I would go with Puka. Okay, I think Puka broke two records, if I'm not mistaken. I think he broke most catches by a rookie. And most yards by a rookie, I think. I know yeah. he did, I know he broke one, but I think he broke two. And yeah. for him to have that production, because I thought it, I thought it was a fluke, honestly. Me too. I thought, I thought they were just putting him in Cooper Cup spot while Cooper Cup was hurt, and he was just getting those targets and those catches. But then when Cooper Cup came back and his production didn't fall off, I, I started to take a second look at you know and kind of rethink about what I was saying. And when I look at it, the dude's legit. Yeah. Uh, defensive rookie of the year, Deron Bland with all the pick sixes. Max Crosby had a great year at age. Miles Garrett probably didn't have the, the, as many sacks as some of these other guys, but we know how much people pay attention to him. Michael Parsons plays everywhere. Then T.J. White, and we obviously know how how big of a menace T.J. White is, and he led the league in sacks. Yeah, I'm going with Bland. He he broke he broke a record, didn't he? Yep, most return most pick sixes. Yeah, I'm going with Bland. And anytime you score on defense, you can. Um, Definitely changed the outcome of the game, but and you did six times. That's, right, that's huge. Yeah, your, your your percentages of winning go up when you score on defense or special teams. And pick, if he did it six times, that's six games. Because pick sixes are really fourteen point swings, right? Yep. You're preventing the other team from scoring, and you score. Yep. Those are those those are huge impacts. I never thought about it like that, but th- it's definitely that. Yeah, definitely that. Uh, offensive player of the year, Tyreek Hill, Cheetah, Lamar, CD, CMC, and Dak. Well, um, because we, we know MVP is going to our guy Lamar. We'll, we'll be nice and, and give this award to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is still tough, right? Because Tyreek mm-hmm. Hill and Christian McCaffrey are both forces, right? At, at points yeah. during the year, uh, they were mentioned as you know MVP candidates. Uh, but I'm going to go with Tyreek. He was okay. he was close to the NFL record. If had he had he not missed a couple of games, I think he would have gotten it. And look and, and look at what he's done for my choice for comeback player of the year to a you know to a Tiger Valoa. Uh, that's that's a direct result of Tyreek Hill. Most definitely, hundred percent agree with that. Uh, no Tyreek, 
We ain't even talking. We ain't even thinking about two. Nope. And lastly, you already mentioned it. Lamar Jackson for your MVP. Why is Lamar your MVP? I mean, obviously he doesn't quite have the stats. I mean, when you we really look at it, he, his stats are a lot closer than people would think. Mm-hmm. But um, you watch the games, and you just look at how dominant he is out there. How confused defenses still are. Sixth year in the league, mm-hmm. and defenses are still like, I don't know what to do with him. Mm-hmm. More so this year because he'll stand in the pocket comfortably, not look to run, and he'll go through all his his you know his progressions, and he'll even hit the checkdowns. He'll he'll play like your typical pocket passer, mm-hmm. and then next thing you know, you know defense gets a little comfortable with him in the pocket. And he takes off, mm-hmm. and then that just completely you know puts everybody in disarray. <laughs> like they like okay, well now now what do we do now? Like do we go back to plan A? You know what I'm saying? Like right. like. You know that's why in the second half, the second half they 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 pull away because they're flustered at that point. Mm-hmm. You know? Have you heard what uh, Taylor Lewan said about Lamar? No. So he he basically went on Kay Adams' show and said there's a blueprint blueprint to beating Lamar, and they did it in Houston. I mean in Tennessee mm-hmm. in 2019. He said make him go east and west, make him run east and west, and make him throw the ball. Mm. He said that today. Okay. Well, so how, <laughs> so so. So why hasn't anybody done that? He, he just stupid. I sound stupid. <laughs> I, well, I, I don't, I don't say he's stupid because I like some of his takes, but in this case, they did it in 2019. They didn't do it in 2020. Right. The, the very next year, right? <laughs> they lost, which is crazy. The they had year. the blueprint. <laughs> right. They thought they stumbled upon it, and I, and if I'm gonna be honest, we beat ourselves that that game. Yeah. All them drops by them receivers, man. We had eight drops that game. Yeah, and we didn't. And we didn't run the ball. Right. So I think Lamar threw 40 sometimes. If not, yeah. might threw 50 times. So, yeah, it was a lot. Whatever it was. But uh, I appreciate you for coming through, man. Let the people know where they can find you and your work uh, on what? YouTube and on Twitter. Yeah, we're, we're everywhere. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. Also, wherever you listen to podcasts. Myself and my brother, Brodney, we are the Lunch Break Hot Take. Okay, we do, the li- we do a live show every Wednesday night at 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time, and we follow that up with the Overtime Show where we talk about anything and everything. Okay, and you can find that on our Patreon at patreon.com slash LBHT show. And you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Blue Sky. That's a new one, Blue Sky. I don't know about that one. You're learning yeah. something. Yeah, uh, all of it is the same thing, at <laughs> LBHT show. Okay. Gotcha. I appreciate you taking oh, this time. Oh, also, to, uh, let me give a oh, shout out to to oh, Ring King since King. I'm wearing yeah, the shirt up there too. Yeah, Ring King's podcast. If you're if you're a boxing uh if you're a boxing fan, I do that with myself, my brother Brodney, and I got OTR Mike. All right, mm-hmm. uh, they will tell you it's only the best boxing podcast out there. But uh, you know, don't don't fact check that. <laughs> 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 so man, I appreciate you for taking the time to come out, and uh, especially with it being on la- uh, last minute, last minute notice. So uh, oh, of course. We'll get this out, and uh, I appreciate your time, man. Hey, appreciate you, Coach. All right. So that'll end part one of Postseason Awards. Who you got? Stay tuned for part two. Coming soon. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you shortly.